Rio de Janeiro's iconic Guanabara Bay is experiencing some good news along its inland coastline, the recovery of its mangroves. Critical to the filtration and absorption of contaminants, mangroves prevent coastal erosion and act as the buffer against hurricanes and tsunamis, and these meshed root brackish water ecosystems are also the habitat and breeding grounds of numerous crab, fish and bird species. Since he finished his studies, Brazilian biologist and environmentalist Mario Moscatelli has been fighting to save existing mangroves and recover areas that have been destroyed. An effort, he says, is paying off. In the past 30 years, I planted approximately 5 million square meters of mangrove forest, and I want to triple or even quadruple that soon to protect the city's coast, especially the Guanabara Bay. His latest project, commissioned by Rio's waste cleaning utility, is the restoration of a mangrove swamp near what used to be one of the world's largest dumps, the most toxic and contaminated section of the highly polluted bay. Here, the successful regeneration of mangroves is also acting as a barrier against the runoff from the landfill and absorbing some of the highly toxic chemical waste. It's a testament to the mangroves' remarkable resilience. A wood and mesh barrier blocks the worst of the solid urban waste from entering the forest, and workers are constantly collecting and removing washed up styrofoam, plastic, and even television sets. It's a never-ending battle. Another advantage of planting mangroves is that small seedlings can reach full maturity in just eight years and recover deforested areas like this one very quickly. And if all that wasn't enough, mangroves are also proving to be an important tool for combating global warming. A well-preserved mangrove forest can absorb four times more carbon and store up to ten times more carbon when compared to any other terrestrial forest. Moscatelli hopes he can expand the area of recovered mangroves in the Guanabara Bay and inspire others around the world to do their part in saving these remarkable ecosystems. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.